Welcome back to System Shock. We're still trying to find a way down to the reactor level, and in the meantime, we're exploring the storage level. I've already explored storage 7. That was vast. Let's check out storage 6. Kinda hoping it's smaller. Very convincing. <laughs> okay, so we need zero security to proceed there. Not sure if that means it's a secret or not. I mean, this one's not very secret. But the other hidden door that we found on the starting level that required zero security was absolutely a secret. Storage 5 it is, then. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, those things required... Do I have flame rounds? Please load it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh man, that tight spread with that upgrade? Beautiful. I see a red dot on the mini-map. There's something else in there. It's, like, right here? Wait, it's not the scrub bot, is it? Wait, it is! Why does that show up as an enemy? Scrub bot wouldn't hurt me. Would he? Nah, they're just scrubbing. I love that Shodan has just completely fucked everything on the station, except the scrub bots. They've taken over everything else, even the repair bots have turned into like, little scorpion monsters, but the scrub bots, Shodan was like, nah, you gotta keep the place clean. Although it's definitely not clean, because of all the, you know, guts and bodies everywhere, but I guess scrub bot can only scrub so much, huh? Which way first? Well, this is vast. Over here doesn't look vast, so let's explore this first. Open that door. Oh, it's going to take me up. What do you do? Already activated. What did I activate? Huh. 
Oh, that was interesting. Oh, I see. Now that I've switched that to be pulling up. Yeah. Oh, no. Ow. Wait a minute. What do these switches do? Oh, okay. I figured it out. That button that I'm aiming at over there turns this on. So now we can continue up here. This is a really weird puzzle. It's very hard to see cause and effect. Every time I press a button, I got to look because whatever it does is important. No clue what that did. At least I can toggle it back and forth. Oh, it's changing that one. Okay, so we need that to be blue so that we can get to the other side. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't think we've been there yet, but... I just unlocked something. So I still want to get to the other side there, but these are going to push me out of the way, I think. Ah, you can overcome it. So maybe this is a secret. Actually, no, I think that's just unlocking a shortcut. Or is it? No, I thought that inner part in there would take you up to this walkway. It doesn't. It takes you somewhere else. Where is this going to go? Nowhere. What did that do? Whoa. I see. It unlocks that. So it's just a shortcut, I guess. Is it a shortcut? I don't know. Anyway, I think our ultimate goal is to get down and go through that place I just unlocked. Um, how do I get down without breaking my legs? There we go. Two shots. You know, enemies generally aren't too hard, but they're just very fast and aggressive. Which makes them scarier than they should be. Hold on. This thing's not damaged. KF-18 Scorpion. Let's take a look at what that is. Shotgun's the biggest thing. Let's toss it for a second. Automatic fire. I think this fires the small ammo, but just automatically, right? Teflon coated rounds is what it has in it right now. Yeah. Okay, so it's basically an upgraded mini pistol. Although, is it? How's the damage? Let's um, switch to not Teflon rounds so we can compare like with like. Now it's standard. Yeah, so standard damage of the mini pistol does 20 points. This does 18. Arm penetration 25%. 20%. Interesting. So it's two points less damage, but 5% more armor penetration. But anyway, the damage and the armor penetration are close enough that I think functionally this is an upgrade over the mini pistol. The same thing, but fires automatically. Bigger magazine, etc., etc. There's I don't think there's really a reason to keep the mini pistol around. Unless I'm so desperate for space that I need two more slots, which to be fair, I'm pretty desperate for space. <laughs> But the mini pistol is struggling to find a use for anything other than shooting cameras, so I think the scorpion is the way to go. I think I'll ditch the mini pistol. KF-18 is a lightweight, fully automatic 9mm submachine gun that is designed to quickly dispatch light armored targets. Its ease of use makes it the weapon of choice in the tri-optimum security arsenal, but care must be taken in conserving ammo due to its fast rate of fire.
For now, I don't need it. So I'm going to leave it here. Let's put a mark. SMG. Oh, you have a lot. Illudium cadmium battery. Ah, it's just an upgraded energy restoration. Restores a fraction of your total energy, and this restores energy to max. Nice. I don't have room for that. Volatile chem barrels. already been to storage one. Yeah, storage room one. Oh, flooded with bots. Yeah, that was that hellscape room with the grenade launcher and all of those big strong flying ones. Like half a dozen of them. You just know these things are going to unshutter at any moment. Something nasty is going to walk out. Okay, and now we're back here. To free up some inventory space, I put the quest items that I have in the cargo lift, which currently is Isotope X-22. We need that for the reactor. And I have some plastique. And then I just left the interface mod demodulators in there. And then I put some weapons that I don't think I'll need anymore, just on the ground because they don't fit in the cargo lift. And I really don't think I'll need them again. The upgraded mini pistol, the wrench. So far, I haven't even gotten close to running out of ammo, so I don't think I need it. Uh, and the spark beam, which is a decent weapon for sure, but again, ammo hasn't been too much of a problem and I really need space. Now I've got room for the scorpion. Let's give this thing a test fire. Ooh, that's fast. Sounds nice too. Level security, 2%, so there's one more camera. Okay, let's check out this huge room. Hey, scrub bot. One of these do. Oh, they control... Oh, they control these three lifts. Actually, there's four lifts, but only three buttons. That's really weird. Okay, yeah, that's created a staircase up, basically. Oh, hell. He's open. Cold storage. That's really cool. Do you think they have safety releases on the inside, or can you trap yourself? Let's find out. Oh, there is an internal release mechanism. That's so cool. Oh, and I'm actually taking damage being in here. Low temperature. 50 LTE. And it only hurts if your inside wall is closed? Yeah, oh, it takes a while to go away. That's so cool. Like, what an unnecessary detail. What are the chances someone's going to trap themselves in one of those things? You have to have a very particular set of circumstances for that to happen by accident. I did it on purpose, but like, I don't think that would ever happen to me by accident. 
And you have to be inside with the door closed for you to get cold damage. That is so cool. What a detail. Wait a second. According to the minimap, there's an item inside of this cold storage. Oh, I can open it on the other side. That's a human skull. Great. Feels wrong to leave them open, but how else will I know that I've already explored this place if I come back here at some point? No secrets. Oh, there's something up there. Just a battery. There's a symbol on the minimap for, like, inside of here, I think. I don't know what that symbol is, though. Oh, it's for just below. Looks like it's just a battery. Micro... Micro pocket dimension? Oh, that's got to be a storage item thing. Does that increase my inventory? Provides additional inventory space. Thank God. How much? Uh, I guess it was down to here before, probably. So it added... Oh, I just added these six more spots. Nice. I was wondering whether inventory upgrades were a thing or not. They sound like Jesse Pinkman. There's a couple areas I still haven't explored in storage. There's one here. Looks like it goes downstairs. And then there's also one over here. Storage 4. Um, let's go with storage 4. Uh-oh. Big one.
think we're good now. If I could make this jump, if I really sprinted at it, I th think I could. I think that's the only way to get over there, actually. I think it's a bit of a, a bit of a secret because I see some items on the other side. Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Well, all my momentum was killed by this thing. Yeah, you can see the three items on the mini-map. Those are on the other side above me. Oh, Jesus! That thing's fucking terrifying. Security 2 robot. I don't think I've encountered that before, have I? I did not expect them to be on the other side. I thought I would have heard them for sure. I'm not sure what to do in there. I'm either missing something, or I'm literally missing something. Maybe some sort of ability that allows me to perhaps hover or something? I don't know. Let's explore around here. The other spot that I would missed. Oh, there's not much to this at all, is there? Boss sounds like an asshole. And here is the final camera. Yes! Wait, level security is now 1%? No! There's another camera. It's just a light switch. Oh, I see a couple red dots on the map. What would be that close together? Maybe those things that I need to shoot with a shotgun. The weird ball things. What is that? Oh my god. Man, this game has some wild enemies. Okay. Uh, it's flesh, so perhaps a gas grenade would be good? Wow. Nailed it. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> oh. Dead gorilla tiger. I feel like the enemies in this game are a lot more wild than what's in System Shock 2. I mean, it's pretty wild in System Shock 2 as well, but I don't... Remember there being a huge variety of, like, animals? Guess I was feasting here. Oh, this is the thing we need the passcode for that we keep hearing about. I was wondering when we... <gasps> uh, I was wondering when we'd encounter that. My habit of right-clicking on everything paid off. This must be a secret? Yes, this is definitely a secret room. I think I have a logic probe. Yeah. Oh, it's the full restore batteries. Nice. Okay, the code is 8. 
something something and someone else said that it ends in eight so it's eight something eight eight three eight final camera zero percent now we can go through that door that requires zero percent security it's got to be something good in there right I'm always hopeful that any weapon I find will actually have ammo in it, but it never does. I don't think they ever do. Oh, what have we got here? M2100 damage mod kit. 25 credits. I have four. <laughs> Gonna have to save up for that. Some plastique. I think I already had found plastique somewhere else, though. I have a lot of plastique. I think I have like had eight of it, so now I have nine. Oh, it's the environmental protection pack. Yes. What a collection of sodas. I want more money, so I'm going to start vaporizing a lot of stuff and picking up junk, I think. Protects the user from biological contamination at the expense of energy. Where does it go? Doesn't go in my inventory, which is good. Oh, I guess it probably is just kind of a passive upgrade. Nope, never mind. You do have to activate it. When active, the pack uses energy proportional to the hazard level. Let's see what's down this other lift. Engineering the future. The last place, pretty much, on the entire storage level is where I find the respawn and the cargo lift. Typical. The store here in storage room 6 should now open now that level security is 0%. Oh, I see some very good loot. Large Teflon round box. Oh, they come in big boxes. Heck yeah. Frag grenade. Reflex reaction aid. Turbo motion boots V2. Provide a jump assist while holding space bar at the expense of energy. That must be what I was missing to get over some of those jumps that I couldn't make and didn't make any sense. Yeah, look at this jump assist. It is like a little jetpack. That is so cool. With the jump assist, we should have no trouble getting to the other side. Yeah. Oh, three hell it hell what? Three healing things, yes. That is so good. Another health thing. Oh my god, I love that. I love this game. It's so good. 
Guess what we have room for now? Grenade launcher! Remember this? Grenades explode on contact. Yeah, do I have any ammo for this? Oh, it does it literally shoot my grenades? I thought it would be its own ammo, but it literally shoots grenades. So I suppose it uses the damage and the stats from the grenade itself, right? Basically, I think it just makes it easier to hit enemies and makes it explode instantly. So you don't have to kind of throw it and hope it works. Yeah, 200 damage, 50% armor penetration. 200 damage, 50% armor penetration. Yeah, it just takes the stats of that. Uses compressed gas charges to turn any grenade into a high-velocity projectile that detonates on impact. This includes gas, frag, and electromagnetic pulse grenades. Oh, that's awesome. It's really large, though. I don't think I want that in my inventory. It's just too big. Not until I find another inventory space upgrade. And with that, I think we're done with storage. Let's see if we can go check out flight deck. Uh-oh. Hell of a welcome. What am I hearing? Each deck looks so different. This deck looks... Oh. Especially high tech. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore the flight deck.